Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have been linked with Paraguayan Antalias winger Raman Sosa, but face competition for from Nottingham Forest. He's 24. He played three games in the recent Copa America, scoring a goal and getting an assist. Uh, in the re most recent season, he played 21 times in all competition, scoring seven goals and got six assists. He is a left winger, um, which we've got quite a few of them. So... Yeah, maybe he's a left winger who can play on the right-hand side, which is what we desperately do need. Um, but again, it's just one of these names, again, that Everton have been linked with, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. Everton are in desperate need, aren't they, for a bit of pace um, and a bit of width. And we've been, you know, we've been recently linked with non so again. That seems like a bit of a non-starter at the moment. So um, let's see if anything comes of this one. Everton will be linked with quite a lot of players in the next month. The transfer window shuts in four weeks' time. Even though Sean Dice said that there wasn't any incomings, obviously Everton will be hoping to try and get some out of the door. But um, it does seem to be the right position. Now, whether it's the right player, we'll have to wait and see. Everton have completed the solar panels on the south stand of the new Everton Stadium. Uh, we mentioned yesterday how the pitch was now starting to get a uh, waterproof cover on it. That, is, that has had more development on that today with gravel now being laid on the pitch. But it's fantastic to see that the solar panels have been completed it feels like every day we're just ticking off more things at the stadium. Uh, they're currently completing the panelling, black panelling on the east stand as well. So once that's completed, and I imagine that will probably be completed today, whether, you know, whether depending, that all these little jobs are just being completed off one by one. Um, it's fantastic to see. The seating in the corners of the south stand, that's getting completed as well. Uh, they've been left... Um, not not completed as there's been gaps in the roof that have now been completed as well. So every single day we just seem to be ticking off another job, another job, another job. Uh, and I know, listen, I know it's 12 months till we actually move into the place. It's just great to see. I've, there's been advertisements online for painters and decorators to go and work in the stadium as well, to obviously do the inside as well. And even though it's a year away, it's the countdown now, isn't it? It's the countdown to getting that stadium and obviously the last season at Goodison Park I'm sure a lot of you out there will have been getting your season tickets as well this week and uh, if you haven't got it or you're not getting a season ticket make sure to check out the sh our shorts YouTube shorts where you'll see uh, an unboxing of the season ticket and what you get inside for the last ever season ticket of course if you did get a physical season ticket it's getting it is getting very, very exciting. Uh, Everton obviously travel to Preston North End tomorrow for the uh, last away friendly before facing Roma next Saturday at Goodison Park. It kicks off at three o'clock at the Deepdale Stadium. Don't forget, you if you want to watch that game, it will be available on Everton's website. Uh, lots of people, every game, always asking where you find the games. It's on Everton's website. Be really interesting to see who starts for Everton in the game. Will the new players get an opportunity? Will they be starting? I think Everton fans just want to see a good game tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of Evertonians, rumoured to be about 6,000 at Deepdale tomorrow. And they'll all just want to see a step up and want to see some of those new players getting an opportunity, uh, whether it's Lindstrom or Jake O'Brien, get an opportunity to play their first game in an Everton shirt. Um, so, yeah. Let's hopefully have a good performance. You know, if we get a good result, it, it, you know, that's secondary. We just want to see a good performance. Preston start uh, their first game in the Championships on Friday against Sheffield United. So they'll be really close to their, to their final product ahead of the new season. But it'd be really, really nice to see Evan put in a good performance. Uh, and finally, obviously, yesterday... Uh, saw the passing of Craig Shakespeare, age 60. Uh, really, really sad, and we send all our condolences to his family and his friends at this sad time. Uh, passed away due to cancer. He was, of course, a coach under Sam Allardyce at Everton. Um, he actually managed Everton for a game as well when we went away to uh, Apollo Limassol. Gave um, Anthony Gordon his debut in an Everton share, brought him on as sub um, in a 3-0 win. Uh, so he, he took that side for, for one game. Uh, very, very highly respected coach and manager. 
uh, coached at England, was very instrumental in Leicester City winning the Premier League as well. He was seen to be the man behind the tactics that won them the uh, the Premier League title under uh, Claudio Ranieri. So um, very, very sad. And as I said, we, we send all our condolences to his family and his friends at this sad time. This has been the Everton News Daily. Thank you for watching. See you later.